Say it. I was rooting for KSI. That is there all for goes. today, folks. We will see you on the next episode of Impulse. Listen. <laughs>I'm already hot. The lights are hot. The headphones are hot. We're off to a great start, man. No, because you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, whatever it is. If you are not subscribed, hit that fucking subscribe button before I have to do something about it. Really? What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You Just couldn't curious. even do it to KSI. What are you going to do to that, oh, bro? I, will, pff, I was not going to go there. I went there because I don't care. I hate you. Damn. Something we are going to start doing less of is caring, though. Mm, I think. Way? Like, it's just like, I care a lot. But at the same time, <sighs> caring, the amount of fucks sharing, I have bro. to give is slowly depleted. Maybe about certain things. Maybe about certain things. <laughs> about certain things. Like, what about people? And like I compassion love people and, and compassion and stuff. What about the Amazon rainforest? Love. Okay. Never been. What about Amazon women? Like, <laughs> what about Jeff Bezos from Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> you ever play the game Amazon Trail? We're, we're, getting, we're, we're getting way off topic. <laughs> Just hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys. You know we love you. We love this podcast. Uh, we, have, we have a great guest today. It's been a, a minute um, since I've seen him, and we've always talked about doing something. But this is our... This is our first time doing something, right? So, okay, finally we're doing something. Um, I want to introduce some guys. He's a professional gamer. He's a prankster. He's got over 11 million subscribers on YouTube. He has a pet narwhal, actually, and he's named after an inanimate object. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's Faze Rug. Oh, shit. Yo, welcome. Good to see you. To we see got him. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. Yo, thank you for having me. How's the levels? The how, height, everything. I How's the narwhal? I'm pretty short, but here you go. How is the narwhal? Go. The narwhal. Yeah, the hor the horned uh, aqua mammal that you have. Joke. It must have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought he really, I thought he really had it, dude. <laughs> no, that's illegal in the United States. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Do you know what a narwhal is? It's uh, it's like a very exotic animal, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what it looks like? No. It sounds ugly, brother. Let me tell you about a giant whale. Yeah. With a fucking horn like a unicorn. No. When I first heard about narwhals, and then when I saw them, I was like, what? This is actually Wait, real? Yeah. Yeah, you're about to be mind blown. Dude, I can't believe you've never seen a narwhal. No. I also can't believe this is how we're opening the show. This is great. <laughs> this is, I love narwhals. What is Look at this no. fucking animal, bro. No. Looks like somebody stuck a metal toothpick into a cement Ooh, cone. What? In the middle of the ocean. <laughs> what is that? Where, thing, where do you find these things at? Some sort of arctic circle? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that exists. Me either, dude. What? It's incredible. That's the right near the edge of the earth, by the way. <laughs> hey, I can't believe you exist, bro. I can't believe you're here. <laughs> hey. I'm on the set of Impulsive. Dude, thank you for having me. This is my first ever podcast, too. No and way. it being Impulsive is such an honor. So, hey, thank you guys oh, for having shit, me. shit, of course, for bro. Real, thank you for coming on. We, yeah. we got a lot of requests for you, dude. Dude, so yeah, good. I saw it in the comment sections, too. Lot. Like, phase rug, phase rug, phase rug. People love you, dude. Dude, let's go. Yo, why, it, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> why, I mean, we know why, but why do you think? I think I, I'm just like a nice guy, you know, like I think people just love me. They say I have like a lovable personality and you really do. Yeah. I show it on my videos. So did I tell you that when we were uh, at that one party? The 10 mil party. That was my party. That was your party. That was my 10 million subscriber party. Oh my party. God. That was a good one. That dude, was it good was one. fun. Uh, you came up to me and the first thing you told me was, hey, dude, what's up? Uh, why have you never been in drama? And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, is true. Do you remember? Because you, you're like a clean, good for you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So drama doesn't even phase you? Wow. <laughs> wow. We like that. Wow. We like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, you do have a very, very likable personality. And Thank obviously you. it shows because you've been blowing up. Um, especially recently. Yeah. What's your content output right now? How, how often you produce and stuff? So, um, it used to be daily vlogging, uh, for like two years. And then now it's cut down to like two or three times a week. Cause I want to focus more on quality rather than quantity. Yeah. Nice. And I think that's like the most important thing. So, yeah, uh, fact. now it's like maybe two or three videos a week. Bro. And your shit's quality. And hey, I know that. Thank you. Cause thank you just bought a fucking Lamborghini. Dude, the Urus. Oh is my that, god. That's how you pronounce it? The Okay, there's different ways. Uris, like, Uris. Uris, and then I guess for us we could say Uris. That's what I say. But Uris. people at Lambo got mad at me. They're like, it's Uris. I was like, Uris. Uris. Do you know how to pronounce the I'm not gonna say it, but the H H U R A C A N, that one? Is it 
Oricon too? Yes, that no, is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What? Damn. Yes, it is. Got a first try. It's not the Lamborghini Huracan. I say Huracan. Because it's spelled like that. It makes sense. Yeah, but what? When we went to Italy, they said it's the Huracan. They're so precise. The Lamborghini yeah. Huracan. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, yeah, it sounds beautiful. Yeah, this is the Udus. Dude, yes. I'm so jealous. Bro, it's so nice. I love it. I actually ordered it a year ago. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. And it just came in. Damn. So, yeah, man, I'm pretty hyped on How that. How fast have you gone in this car? I so went. It's got to be the first question. Listen, uh, I tested it out, but it's bad to like go fast without putting miles on a car. I did hear that, but right. I still really? did go fast. I wanted to try it, but just like one twenty, you know, nothing too crazy. I mean, that's, that's still pretty fast. How, how, when'd you get the car? Five days ago, Ooh, I believe. When whoa. I posted it, four days ago. How much was this car, bro? <gasps> uh, honestly, I want you to take a guess. I want you guys to all guess. I feel like I. Three hundred and sixty-two thousand yeah, dollars. Like that's a that's a that's a three fifty. Yeah, I was gonna say three fifty. That's a three fifty. What? You guys are overpricing that. Damn, I'm. I'm Is a it bitch, 250? Bro. 250. Oh, let's get one. Damn, two fifty. I expected it to be more too, but it's so cool. Dude, I saw so I saw nice. a yellow one the other day, and Ooh. it just they just gleam, dude. It's so nice, so mean on the road too. I, I see love you it. got some big dogs looking at and liking your post too. Look at that. Down there. At the oh, bottom. hey. <laughs> like my hey, big Mike. Man, they watch it. Shout out to Mike, man. Hey, hey big look, Mike. Look, even the comment above it. Where's Mike? Where I am. <laughs> there I am. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Why does it say Mike's that? Popping. Mike that's actually man. is a, uh, um, like, that's actually a frequently asked question on my channel. Where's, Where's Mike? Mike? Who is he? Mike is this homeless man that I've actually helped in the past. And like, I used to like film it all the time. But like, you know, you know, like those controversial subjects of good deeds and putting them on camera. Yeah, of course. Yes. So like, you know, I used to do that. And then like a lot of people got mad. So I stopped like filming. But like, I still like I have a connection with this man named Mike. I like did a video transforming his life. And uh, I used to like upload videos with him. Oh, and then I stopped doing it because people would get mad. That's so- He, he was a homeless guy? Yeah, he's a homeless And man. it wasn't this Mike. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. That's, that, that rubs me the wrong way. Like, yeah, honestly, he, like, of course my intentions aren't like in a bad way to film it. Like I want to use my platform to spread the good, like let people- know that you could you could do good in the world, you I, know? I believe you when you say that. Yeah, but, but like, there's, there's other people. people who, oh, trust me. I've seen like videos on Twitter of like people doing good deeds and you could easily tell off the bat that it's not genuine. Question. Easily. Even when, even when they're manipulative or like doing it for superficial reasons. Yeah. I was always cool with it. Here's yeah. why. It's better than what they could be posting. Like you're out there posting about doing good deeds. Exactly. And some and and the first thought of people on the internet is, or some people on the internet is, oh my God, like you're only doing that to like show yourself doing good deeds. Yeah. Like how about you do this instead of making that comment? Exactly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth <laughs> and go do a good deed of your own and then film yeah. it and I'll like it and comment yeah, on it. Exactly. And then they'll have liked by Hey Big Bike. On yeah. their, like hey. do a good deed right now. <laughs> you heard it. Post it. Tag me, I'll like it, and comment. There's me Mike. Me too, me too. Done, two people, and will you do it too? I guess, we're all <laughs> here. I'll do it, we're all here. There you go, that's four big ass nah, It's It's interesting, bro. It's a, uh, <clears throat> it's a bit of a tumultuous time. A lot, a lot of things are like uh, in, in turmoil right now, Have you, but you've managed to stay clean, yeah? Yeah. Have you ever gotten in any uh, controversy? Yeah, well, not controversy, but I guess you could say like drama. A long time ago, like, two and a half, three years ago, it was like probably the dumbest thing ever. And it was with my brother. That's the thing. And like, like, you know, I mean, you had beef with Jake before. Correct? Yeah, that motherfucker Jake. Yeah. <laughs> but like in yeah. the end, like he's your brother. He's my brother. I love him to Jake death. is your brother. <laughs> Jake is my brother, Brandon, we, my brother. This is incredible. We're all brothers here. There's an issue in the hospital that uh, we, we, we should get to. Son of a bitch. I knew we looked alike. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, but okay, you settled it with, with you. We settled it and like it, it was just something that should have been uh, off of YouTube. What like, was it? It was, I kind of don't want to get into it. You want to talk about it? it, was, okay. yeah, it, was, it was pretty dumb, but like in the end, we're all good now. And that's in, all that In matters. the end, you got a Lamborghini. Yes. Udis. Yes. Udis. Yes. Udis. Has anyone told you you look like that pirate kid? Uh, Rico from Rico, Hannah Montana. Yeah. Oh my God, I have so many stories about that. This kid, wait, hold up. This kid, Rico. Please don't bring up the pirate picture though. I look like him there. <laughs> At least when I was a kid. Have you ever grown your hair out? <laughs> yeah, if you go on my Instagram, like three pictures back. Oh wait, back. I, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> there you go. Not that one, not that one, the next one. But All I like right. this one. 
<laughs> You're just looking looking like a, a young stud, bro. Hey, thank you. Go go to the other one though. There's one this one. Oh <laughs> can, can you pull up the picture of, of Rico? Put him right next to Oh <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. That's dang, you you really sent it, huh? Like my teachers in middle school wouldn't call me Brian. They would call me Rico. That's bullying. Whoa. That's yeah. bullying. You think so? Oh and, yeah. And also racist, kind of. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I would. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. The racist. I feel like that's a reach. <laughs> but that's it, a little. Yo, but, it but is we're bullying, in a society right? where you could just. Yeah. Put it <laughs> I mean, I didn't really care because like I, I loved Hannah Montana. Yeah. And I used to watch it all the time, so I'm like, I took it as a compliment. Like, hey, I look like Rico from Hannah Montana. That's yo, lit. Yo, this girl that I've been like hanging out with told. Oh. Who's that? What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? Why, you're, I mean, why'd, you're, you, why'd you pause? Her, and why yeah, are you calling her? Why are you never. calling her this girl? I mean, we use no, no, names no, no, here: Faze Rug, no, Logan, no, Mike, Brian, Brian. No, I know. Or is it Rico? Who no, knows? Brian's his hey, YouTube name. Hold up, wait. I made a mistake. I'm gonna. I'm stay on topic. Huh. <laughs> I just fucked up. But yo, the reason I call him the pirate kid. You saw this kid recently, yeah? Look at this. Look at yep. this. Yup. <laughs> I saw your tweet. <laughs> What's going on here, dude? I don't know. Is, is that current? Like, is that recent? Of him? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, damn, he just really went for it. Are we still doing a comparison or no? No. Okay. <laughs> Is he okay, okay, that guy? I don't know. I want to say he's thriving. That he looks great. Because I want to make it. I want to make a joke, but I. <sighs> he also, he, yeah, he also looks slightly concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I you? thought I originally thought that was Mike, the homeless guy. Dude, no. I'm not <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. No, but he's great. I'm sure. Dude. I'm sure he's just, he's getting it, dude. He's I, I stumbled yeah, upon his Instagram. Like he, he's like cool with a lot of big people like uh -huh. Kylie, Kendall. He's got the Udis? No, no. no <laughs> Can so. you guys update me on what's going on with that? What? Who? The pirate man? Oh, no. <laughs> Is this a thing? Something's That's happened. Rico. That's We've Rico lost from <laughs> That's Rico from Hannah Montana. Oh, okay. No, Wait, did you not know that? No. I thought, oh, I thought oh, you were yeah, just saying there's a, there's a random pirate. It's a pirate, man. <laughs> we've got a, we've got a technical bike. difficulty here. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm always, we'll be back in five. The number one four, podcast. Four, three, two, one. And we're back. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, we'll be back again in five, All right, four. Hey, shut the... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so wait, you were you were a professional gamer. You still are? Not anymore. I used well, to. Well, you be. used to be. Yeah. That's how I actually got into Phase Clan. Was straight through gaming, which okay. is crazy. In I, 2012. Yo, gaming is dude, blowing the fuck huge. Up. Gaming is like at an all time high right now, and it's only gonna get bigger. Are you, you retired? So? I guess you could say I'm retired. I still play for fun, but I don't do it professionally. Would you ever hang your old jersey in the rafters uh, at the Phase Phase? Hundred percent. I have a bunch of old jerseys of mine. How wow. did you get good at gaming? Gaming is such a, a a hard thing to get good at. Dude, since I was a kid, I loved video games as a lot of other kids did. And I just got into Call of Duty. And back then, how I got into Face Clan, does anyone know what a trick shot is? Hell yeah. Trick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trick course. shotting, like, like a 360, 360 snipe. no yeah, scope, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. And that's what Phase was at first, quick scoping. Temper, yeah. Yeah, temper, all, shit, all yeah, that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I used to just be a good trick shotter. And in 2012, they picked me up. And how they find you though. I, I, don't, dude, I don't get how I they know. find people, bro. Like, uh, like, um, that dude Tifu. He, uh, oh my gosh, uh, how do they find this guy? Tifu? Now he's one of the one of the biggest on Twitch, yeah, literally, yeah, and one of the best Fortnite players in the world. He's so fucking he's good. so good. I feel like, like he could get like any girl, bro. Oh, 100%. Tifu. Yeah, Tifu, yeah. Tifu is nice with it. Yo, he's yeah. slick because he's like, he's got swag. That's dude. what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I feel like once he locks down a chick, oh, it's over. She ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I, bro, that's. <laughs> yeah. What? What are you doing right now? Huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Is that, anyway, why, is that why you play Fortnite so much, Logan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Fortnite for me is like. <laughs> hey, you used to stream. Do you still stream? Oh. Um, no, no, I don't. <laughs> why? Yeah. Um, what happened? There's, there's like a big reason. I can't say it right now. Okay. But uh it's for legal reasons. Okay, yeah, but let's like, not get into but it. But it's it's stemmed from me just not enjoying video games like I thought I would. Mm. And streaming, by the way. Shouts to all the streamers. That shit is uh it's exhausting. Hard. It's draining. It's hard. But like I never really got into streaming because like it's just way too hard. Like you have to dedicate your whole day, almost your whole life. Bro, and I want to go do shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Typically, this month has been slow because my I got my tonsils out. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah, it, streaming's tough, dude. Yeah. yeah, the big thing right now though, <sighs> esports. Oh my god, <sighs> man, what, you, that's what we just said. No, 
No, you said streaming. E e e e esports. E e e no, esports like true competitions, like going to a physical event. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so like we. Uh, you keep stepping on my fucking wire. Yo, then and do then something then, about uh, it. Then do something throw about down. it. Bitch. Throw it down. Stand the fuck up. Look dude, at him. Yeah, do something about with. it. Do it. Do something about it. <laughs> nah, 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 I don't want that smoke, dude. Later. Uh, um, fuck. I thought that was going to go down. Fuck, First fight on Impulsive we have yet to Ooh, have. Ooh, that would have been good with me as a guest. You know, one of you stepped out my court, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it can't be me, yo, could it? Rug, fight my <laughs> fucking boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't e, think good. I can hear you. Esports, e physical <laughs> events, Call of Duty World League, CDL, CWL, right? I believe so, CWL. Whatever, whatever. They're still figuring all this out, but these guys are getting mega money oh my bro, God. from brands right now. It's insane, like millions. Millions. millions Yo, okay, but, millions. okay, hold up a second. I'm going to put a blanket statement out there, and I could receive some flack for this, but again, my level of fucks is just slowly <laughs> depleting. I'm running out of them. A lot of gamers, like, <clears throat> when you take the game away from them, kind of, like, boring. They're just kind of, like... <sighs> and, and that's already a gamer calling them. Like, did you fucking really hey, say mom, that? Mom, <laughs> mom, mom, I'm going to have to call you back. I'm on a Impulsive. It's the number one hey, podcast Pam, in the world. Pam. Sorry, Pam. Pam, what do you think about esports? What do you think about esports, mom? Like, I gaming. Like e what? Why not? Esports is great. <laughs> Can I say hi to Pam? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Pam. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good, good, good. He's our guest today. His name's Brian. We think. It could be Rico or Rug. Rug. <laughs> or Rug. A carpet. Right. I'll talk to you later, Ma. Bye, honey. Bye. Yeah. What a, what a She's sweetheart. so sweet. So She's nice. I don't know. So nice. So I don't know how I was her son, am her son. Yeah. <laughs> was. <laughs> no, because she's so sweet and I'm just a dickhead. She's sweetie. It's crazy. I, no you way, can, but You can on. be a sweetheart. Sometimes. At times, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can. But yo, a lot of gamers, you take the game away from them and they're just like kind of like boring, like a lot of like nerdy, like whatever. And like, it's, But you and a lot of Face. the Face Clan yeah. people yeah. are cool yeah. as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. So, I mean, how are y'all just a gang of dope dudes even when you're not playing video so, games? So, I don't know. Like, so... um Back in like 2012, 2013, we were strictly just gaming. Like we get in Xbox Live parties, trick shot, like chill and stuff. And then like we used to go to gaming events and that's when we first like met up and like right away we all clicked because like Face Clan is like a family. Like we're literally all so close. Are you in the, are you in the Face House? No, I actually live in San Diego. For oh, that's right. Don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I think you said like uh, we we're going to talk about like Hollywood lifestyle. I'm like, I live in San Diego. <laughs> but so I do come I do come out here a lot, by the way, to just hang out with them. Mm. Uh, but... Um, yeah, I, we all just started vlogging out of nowhere. Like I did a prank on my mom, which is like my most viewed video on my channel, the cocaine, cocaine prank. Yeah. I saw that. What did you do oh, to your man, poor mother? I feel so bad for you, my mom for this what'd one. What'd you do to mama, mama rug? Listen, like I wanted, <laughs> I, listen, I, I sat in my room all the time. People only saw the life of me like gaming and I wanted to show them like my family, like what I do outside of the room. So I basically just took a bag, put salt in it. Put it in you, my car. You are young in this video. Dude, oh my <laughs> god, bro! Oh, wow. No, I can't watch this. It's my most viewed video, and I cannot look at it. Look, seventeen at me, million views, bro. It was crazy, and I just put the bag in my car, and I put it under my jacket, and I told my mom to go get the jacket from my car. And it was just salt. It was just salt. And so your mom wasn't like, "Oh, this is no, no." no. She, flipped. she flipped. She thought it was cocaine. Yeah. But bro, come on, it's salt. She's, she's my mom. It, phase, bro, it's sodium. She's, she's Rob's mom. She my know mom what salt looks like my okay. mom. Like she's Middle Eastern, so yeah. like any source of anything that looks like a drug or like so she's you, totally against it. Yeah, yeah, you're you done. You played on her being a hypochondriac. Oh, what? I feel like you may have fucked up that terminology. Nah, I'm gonna stick with it. She's I think afraid I got it right. of she's afraid of sicknesses, and so she knew it was cocaine. Is that what you're saying? Right no, now? I'm saying I'm saying so. A hypochondriac is like someone who like. Is is afraid of being ill constantly, even if it sometimes isn't warranted. And I'm saying she, in her worrisome personality, shut the fuck up. I'm still going here. Stand the fuck up. <laughs> For this one, you deserve you deserve these hands. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like you played on her being like a, a nervous Nelly, uh, yeah, like, like a germaphobe. The fuck you guys. I'm stuck really, with this podcast. I hate it, by the way. Why are you in such a, Why are you in such a weird mood today, by the way? I'll tell you why. No, why? Do you want to know why? Yeah. Yeah, I want to know. Slightly. I have the worst news. Oh, I have the no. worst news. What? I don't want to detract from the cocaine prank. No, it's fine. It's fine. What happened? I don't know. And we, we said we were going to do Sober Vegan January. 
Sober Vegan January, and it has been going great. So great that we decided to celebrate five days before the month ended. Oh, no. Last I did night? Not, I did not. I, well, okay, so I... I was just, I'm done being vegan, bro. I need sustenance. <laughs> I swear I need meat. I need it. And uh, so I ate, I ate some fish. And so I broke. Like, I'm, I'm weak. <laughs> okay, I'm fucking weak. But um, I feel so good now. <laughs> but it didn't end there. The worst part about it was somehow I also stopped being <laughs> sober last oh, no. night. I drank alcohol. Five days before? Why? Bro, I broke. was it just in the moment? We're eating, what I'm or? saying, bro. We went, we went and saw a fight. We're eating at Tao, uh, having dinner, and he says, "I'm done with this shit." <laughs> and he starts eating fish, no, and, I, and, and eating all kinds of meats. And I said, <laughs> "I'm not done with this shit. I'm gonna stay strong." Yeah, because I'm a fucking yo. Beast. Mike's a war. He stayed strong, but like genuinely. My vegan friend Spencer's not gonna like this. Have you ever been vegan, by the way? No, Good not call. once. Good call. I'm just saying. Like my vegans, are, like it's just not for me. <laughs> I think it's like a body type thing. It's because you want to fucking. I'm fight? gonna keep my lips zip, bro. Is, I'm just gonna yo, keep the lips zip. Yo, Spencer's like. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, it's just up. not for me, bro. I lose um, mass motivation, mass. I'm like depressed in bed all day. All I want to do is sleep. I just do need. Do you think any of that had to do with the fact that you had uh, tonsils ripped from your throat? <laughs> oh, three weeks ago. <laughs> but how long was the recovery? Two weeks. We've been eating so much edamame, bro. I yeah. Eat, I plus, eat. plus, you had like sugar for like a week because you couldn't eat any solid food. Bro, Maybe it's the crash. He's just from doing that. a lot of beating around the bush, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I got the same way when I did veganism for the fight. Evan was like, "Yo, you like." You are reminding me of how you were before that uh, your fight with KSI when you were vegan. And I was like, oh my God, that's so right. All I would do is train and sleep. You stayed committed to that one? When, for when four it, months. Wow. For four months. Like I went, that's why this one I was like, okay, look, I get it. I get it, but I'm just. So uh, just a question though. What do you think of the like impact on the planet and the <laughs> other aspects to it outside of just like the way it makes you feel? I've been thinking about this. I don't know, Spencer. Okay. Can right. we come back? Can right. we? I have an answer. Can, okay. Wait, can we get, can we have a really buff vegan on the channel? Yeah. We're going to talk about this guy. Yeah. We're going to get a vegan on the channel to talk about this. Cause I don't know. I can come to my own conclusions about yeah. veganism and its overall benefit of the planet. Um, but I just don't know the facts. Yeah. So I don't want to speak. I'm just saying for me, That's like if the second time now I'm like, dang, I don't think it's for me. Granted it has its benefits. Hell yeah. Um, like I lost a lot of weight. That's it, actually. Did you, did you, <laughs> let's not say that. Did you see Ted Nugent really, really quickly to touch on Ted Nugent, who the dude just talks about whatever the fuck he wants to, went on a rant, I think on Rogan. Oh, about, I did see that. Talking about how there's more harm to the environment growing a, a field of soy for vegans because you have to kill every living like animal rodent that comes in, in the area that could potentially harm that soy. Ted Nugent. I'm not saying I believe it, Spencer. Don't don't give me the look. No, we will no. have this conversation, but but I want to. I'm not giving you the look. Uh, I'm wait, just wait. Like, yeah, I thought right, about right. that argument. Yeah. I think that's 100 false. False. I think, it's like, Ted that's Nugent. Like, I, I'm just. Know. There's so much uncertainty around the whole thing. Even the stuff that's like believed as locked about benefits or non-benefits still is like. I, I think that this is a whole yeah. episode. Well, it's cool because <laughs> in 2017 there was one percent of the United States that was vegan. <laughs> This last year, there was six. Ooh, that's dope. So Damn. it's growing. Yeah. Oh, I and thought you meant six people. Six people. Like it went down. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's only six people. <laughs> no, but in 1920, there was 14 million beef cows in the U.S. Last year, there was 94 million. <sighs> Whoa. And, and I said Which to him- crazy. And I said to him about that, I think it's population tra trajectory somewhat, but it's just so many cows. And I think the, the one thing I think is, uh, final note for me on it, is I think that one of the reasons why so many people are becoming vegan is the one thing that got me through this month was imitation meat, man. That shit is good, bro. I, I like it. it. Some of it. What is that? It's like Beyond Burger. Beyond Burger invoice coming at you. Is that what it's called? Beyond Burger? Yeah, there's one. Right? Um, it's almost like meat, dude, but yeah, it's made of but it's like not. leaves. Oh, whoa. You ever raked a pile of leaves in your backyard and you're like, I'm going to put it in a bag and bring it out to the side? Make a yeah. burger out of it. 
Is it good? Next, uh, delicious. Absolutely there's not, actually no. a there's a Middle Eastern dish that it's it's like rice and meat wrapped in a leaf. It's called dolma to all the Middle Easterns out there. Shout out Middle Eastern. Wait, I know Shout that out. dish. Dolma? Surprisingly, I don't like it. Oh, Everyone tells me it's like so hell. good. Yeah, I always oh, give it an, a chance, and I I stay away from that that specific uh, that specific. Wait, dish. are you yeah. serious? Yeah, I don't like that one. <laughs> Mediterraneans like- are actually some. They live like the. The longest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The healthiest in, yeah. in the world. I believe that. Yeah, yeah that, that stuff's clean. So what happened last night? You drank and ate meat? You failed, is what you're saying. I failed. I did. Do you feel like a loser? Because I think you're a loser, bro. Um, nah, man. It was therapeutic. I feel great. I really <laughs> did. No, I feel great. This is... This, I'm so then happy. it's not for you. For it, it is, but I do encourage everyone to try it. Of course, try it and like vegan month. and make your make your assessment for yeah, me. Yeah. So I twice. And by the way, I'm probably gonna eat like a sixty percent vegan based diet. I just need like chicken respect. and eggs, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's all I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I respect that. I think if you can inevitably as a planet we're going to come to the point where we're over consuming like we already are yeah yeah and i think if you can at least take a little hit from how much you're consuming that's great like that's why i encourage it Flexi- I don't, like i think I they call eat. it flexitarian is the term for someone who eats less meat is that when you do this when you eat uh, <laughs> yeah yeah. so yeah. you buckled though last night and i'm going strong you buckled. mike is going strong and then we're dancing at this club you know i'm feeling good and i'm a little wavy and shit and um i'm I, sitting there boring sober I, in the back like this yeah i've seen logan do this i've seen yeah. him wavy just getting, i've seen him wavy <laughs> groove and shit he gets it and i look and i Surfing. see a sign coming across oh, the, no. the club and what does the sign say? I see. I look and I see, it says, um, get drunk, Mike. Oh, no. And I'm like, where? where this is my, not my mic. My mic is sober. Wait a second. <laughs> I think someone is trying to get Mike drunk and oh, convince him no. to drink. So the bottle girls bring over this huge light up sign. What did it look like? Bottles, I wish it was we had a video huge. of it. We do have a video. <laughs> there I is have a video. A video. <laughs> and um, oh. isn't that it right there? They, can, no. <laughs> the first, they the come. first story, you actually said strong. You were like, no. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, look, look, look. It says, <laughs> can you zoom in? It says, Mike, get drunk. No. <laughs> With a backwards e <laughs> and so and so i'm like no who's who's responsible for this? what's happening and it turns out it's what the director of phase clan <laughs> something tower like that a, motherfucker tom tom listen He's like an tom employee of phase clan. yeah right tom man that's where i saw it on the story and i was like wait i thought mike was sober for bro the i sat there for two minutes <laughs> shaking my head like this I won't break. I won't break. That was the first story. And then the second one. And I and I looked around the room and there were bottle service girls scantily clad, shaking their booties, <laughs> saying, break, Mike, break. And Tav just had the bottle Flash in my face. Flashlights all in Mike's face. And you want to know what I did in my moment of need? You broke. I turned to Logan. Okay. For for some for some friendly advice and and, and the support I need to get through this tough moment. And but like he, I, and he whispered in my ear. No. Yeah. Don't be a fucking bitch. Drink the fucking shit. No. It was you. Shit. And I I folded like a cheap rubber plastic picnic table. (laughs) You've seen those, right? Those those fold very easily. (laughs) Yo, it... It's my fault. It's okay. A hundred percent my fault. Still vegan. Hey, okay. That's good. That's Plant-based good. Plant-based lifestyle. Fuck you, Ted Nugent. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, man. It's, uh, I'm so sorry. It's all right, bro. So I made it 27 sorry. days. I got a lot of shit done. Highly recommend taking a month off, focusing on your work, on your craft, on your passion. Yeah. Don't, you know, stay, stay, keep it tight, get a structure. Um, 27 days and- but how you do anything is how you do everything. That's not true. It know. is true. No, it's not. I don't know if I agree with that. That is, now I that is dr- so that- not true. Say that one more time. How you do anything is how you do everything. That is not true. <laughs> it is. No, it's not. <laughs> if you if you can't make the full commitment in this area, where what other areas of life are you doing it? What if it's negatively affecting the way you live and is literally depressing you? <sighs> like Your you personal can't, experience. You, you can't apply that blanket statement, bro. What do you mean? Are you talking about in diet in particular? What are you talking? You just said if you can't do anything, you can't no, no, do no. anything. It's like, the commitment. <laughs> it's less about the actual physical thing. It's like the commitment. You know, that's that's my personal belief. I think if you can't <sighs> commit. What do you think, Rug? Help us. What I you, mean, show us the way. give us like an example of what you mean by that. Of so like, like if you're not committed to finish a full month, say you do like 90%. Then you shouldn't then do some, it to begin no, with? No, no, no. So oh. Then that means there's some other areas of your life that you're only giving 90%. There, you're not going 100% all in. 
I mean, you have excuses. Yeah, but I mean, uh, my personal opinion is like 90% is better than like 0%, you know? <laughs> That's my boy. Right? Do, don't you think? Yes. I appreciate it. I mean, like, no, yeah. being 100% is like, like be on top of your True. stuff, but like True. 90 is better than zero. So, Fact. yes. Yeah, I agree. My And my, my dad always taught me to finish strong. He said, it's not about, it's not about the way you start. It's about how you finish. Exactly. So everything I'm not sexually, everything I've ever done <laughs> in my life, I've given it 110%, but apparently I just gave this month 90%. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, if you've been doing 110% your whole life, then one that's, 90% month is not bad. That's why. Cause I know, bro, like I can, I can go. Yeah, bro. You, you go all in. Like I've seen you go all in like yeah. very few people. For sure. I just I just lost sight and of the vision of why I did it. I made it 27 days. <laughs> La, like last night was the last kind of weekend night of the month. And I was like, all right, I I, I fucked up. I failed. Now I'm gonna close the month out strong anyways. Like I'm yeah. not gonna be going out until yeah, yeah, back yeah. until next weekend. So and by the way, it wasn't like a peer pressure thing. Like if they had like M- Mike smoke meth. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not. Especially at the club, you know, on a yeah, Saturday. Yeah. But like, listen, <laughs> you, like, you know. You, first question, how do you, how did you get the meth in? I don't know. Well, yeah. they don't do, let's not talk okay. about the security okay. protocol. Right. At the club. But imagine <laughs> how good it would have felt if you. Uh, Smoked meth at the club. <laughs> no. What are you trying to do Come now? On, you're going to. Imagine saying, how good it would have felt if you waited until February 1st and taken that shot. It's all I shot. wanted. It's all I That's wanted. True. The Rather blonde shot from Ohio stuck his metaphorical penis in my ass, bro. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. He fucked me. He fucked me, bro. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I don't know how else to man. put it. Dude. Damn. I'm, really I'm sorry. Did. I'm sorry yeah, to yeah, hear yeah, that. Yeah. That just that's, doesn't sound fun. Do you party? On occasion. Like you're 22, yeah, yeah, 22. Okay. Like when I turned 21, of course, like I went out like more frequent than I do now. But now, it's, if it's like a birthday celebration stuff like that, then I'll do it. But um, yeah, when I I had all my fun when I turned 21, bro. Come on, I know, I know. No, I'm telling you, like if there's birthdays or like if like all my friends are going out to the club, then I'll for sure go. You with drink? Them. Yeah, I mean at the clubs and. Uh, He's focused, man. You are focused, dude. Focused. Yeah, I honestly like I I care so much about like YouTube and stuff like that. But once I'm done with work, like of course, like having a little bit of fun doesn't hurt. Why do you care about YouTube? What do you like about it? Um, I mean, I like seeing I like numbers a lot. Like I'm a numbers guy. Like I like seeing like my channel growing. Like that's like my motivation. And uh, yeah, like when I see like a video do really good, it's like okay, okay, let's do the next. Let's do the next. And I just I enjoy making content in general. It's hard though. Don't get me wrong. Thinking yeah. of ideas and like production and stuff, it's hard. But in the end, like it, it's all fun for me. You, uh, you really like uh, seeing when you're getting mega subscriber growth. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. Feeling. I love that. I know yeah. that feeling. Yeah. So what happens if you lose subscribers? Has that ever happened? Goes right on Social Blade. Mm-mm. No, that's never happened. Let me tell you what that's like. What's it like? Ooh. Not fun. How to, ugh, man? Nah, I um. I've lived like 10 lives, Brian. I'm going to be yeah. honest with you. Like I've done just, just so much shit. Yeah, Success, yeah, yeah. failure, um, everything, the gambit. Uh, and I stopped I stopped caring about numbers because uh, at the end of the day, they don't make me happy. Yeah. Like followers, subscribers, like whatever. <laughs> we have a mega problem on Instagram right now. <laughs> this is, this what? Is what? I'm actually going to cut this part. <laughs> I'm actually going to cut this no, part. This is, this is bad. Um what happened? I'm I'd oblivious s- to this. 16.2 million followers uh, last year. Did they catch the robot factory of people that you built fo- to follow you? <laughs> they did the not. Bots. So, yeah, the bots. so that's the still blog. up and going. Yeah, I still have okay, my fake good. followers. Good, good. For sure. That's and, not uh, true. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then before the fight happened with KSI, and I got up to 16.6. Everyone's like, oh, shit. Like in like a... Uh, very short amount of time, yeah, like yeah. A, like a week, I gained like 400K. I was like, oh, sick. Like, you know, because I had been stagnant the whole year. Yep. 2018 was like a this shit year for me socially, yeah. honestly. So um well, hopped up to 16.6. And now to this day, <laughs> I'm at 16.1, brother. I lost half a million. Dollars. What? How? Uh, I think I think it's a combination of two things. My content output right now is low. So obviously like people are like, oh, like he's not doing anything. And, yeah. and people are very... uh socially addicted to how many people you're following, you know? Yeah. Um, and then Mike made a point. He said, uh, 
a lot of people hopped on that train, like that 400K I gained before the fight. Like, they're not Logan Paul fans. Yeah. They're just like, what's this kid doing right now? Yeah. Like, I want to be cool. And That's true. Yeah. That's true. They were just like, we want to see the fight. We want to see what he does to train. We, it's, yeah. It was like a big hype situation. So they hopped on. Fight was over. It was a draw, yeah, by yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah, I don't give a fan. Did you see the fight? Yes, I did. What'd you think, bro? Did I win that fight? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, He's a I KSI really, fan. You are, huh? Yep. Listen, listen. Huge KSI yeah, what's fan. What's good, bro? What's good with you, man? I think I don't take sides, but like, yeah, speak from the heart. We're not going to judge. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't think someone should have won that fight. Like, I think it was fair, yeah. like the call at the end. But um, I mean, listen, say it. I was rooting for KSI. That is there all for goes. today, folks. We will see you on the next episode of Impulsive. Listen, listen, not saying that I had like, I don't have anything against Logan. He's the homie. Like, he's, he's awesome. I love him. <laughs> But like, it's just like, I can't even I'm look just at you. rooting for KSI. I'm so sorry, man. I'm sorry I had to do this. I'm sorry, low gangsters. Listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right, bro. <laughs> I, think, I think impulsive is over. No, nah, you nah, weren't, you nah. weren't, listen, you weren't the only one. We, you know, we, we have this, uh, Logan's not doing well. He's, he's Logan, seems listen. very upset. Why? Because <laughs> of gaming and shit, like. Well, I just, I've just like known KSI. I, I mean, like. I've talked to him, like I've met him, like yeah. he's been to like the clout house and um, I've watched him for as long as I could remember. But at the same time, I've watched you since you started vlogging. Like, so like it was kind of tough, but like I, I honestly turned that fight on with the intentions of just watching a good fight. So you want a KSI window? <laughs> That's fine. Do you ever think that maybe it was because of your support for KSI that he, it was a draw and Logan didn't win? Because, like you sway, you. yeah. Probably. Mm. Cause that's Listen. what I got out of it. Probably. So going into the next fight, are you going to be like neutral? I'll be neutral. I'll be neutral for the next. No fight. pressure. Yeah. But you know yeah. who else was on uh, KSI side? Who? Rice gum. Oh, oh, did he say it on the podcast? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not. You're not the first. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just joking with you. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, so boy, when after the first two rounds, like I was whooping that boy's ass. Yeah, yeah. Were you yeah. a little nervous for your boy? Yeah, low key. Like dog, I was beating his ass. It was, dude. Honestly, it was a really entertaining fight. It was. Like, till the end, Thank like you, it was dude. really good. I was pooping I my it. pants the whole time in the final <laughs> and, round. And you, had, I was like, you were filming, yeah, bro. Yeah, pooping and filming <laughs> is not easy, dog. How it's not you, easy. How did you do that? Just oh, completely soiled them. Like I threw them. <laughs> Those were a pair you just had to throw away. It, they weren't cleanable. You were standing right in front of me too the whole time. In yeah. front of, it was horrible. Have you ever shit your pants? Uh, Yeah. What was that like? like? when I was a kid. Oh, not like as a, in your adult life? No, no, no. Apparently this is a thing. Yeah. It's a, normal. A Wait, did you actually shit yourself or you were No. no. Oh. <laughs> well, you have though, oh. right? Oh, uh, marathoners yeah. of course. is a big thing as with marathon. Adult? No, not while running. I haven't, I haven't pooped my pants in a, in a minute. Okay. <laughs> when did you? <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I heard from speaking to multiple people in Hollywood, maybe it's a Hollywood thing, like full on adults are pooping their pants. Yeah, yeah, it and, it's a, and it's a thing. Like, if you're at a party, just for shits and gig shits, <laughs> shits and gigs. Uh, be like, yo, raise your hand if you poop your pants. And I'm sure a decent amount of people will raise their hand. The, the, the majority the of the stories I've heard is like people taking some form of a laxative right. or something and grossly underestimating its power. <laughs> You hear people say, it, like, you, you ask the question in the inf infinite form, like, raise your hand if you poop your pants. Or if you've pooped, because you, the way you put it was raise your hand if you poop, like on a daily basis. How many people here poop their pants? Just, I, that, just that weird guy, the pirate kid raises his hand. He's like, by the way. I do. <laughs> by the way, I, I won't tell the whole story, but I have, because you hate my whole story. So I have a really crazy poop your pants story. And I don't even want to tell it because it's, it's also disgusting. How old were you? How old were you? When oh, it happened. No. This is oh, this God. story is famous in my family. My my <laughs> sister Ab my sister Abby is gonna watch this and she's gonna cry laughing. I, I, Give us the elevator I poop. I will. I was, I, I, I was at my sister's wedding. Oh, oh wait! Whoa. I know this story. Oh, oh this is a real, you was, have to tell this. Was this recent? No, I was in what quick quick. I'll say it fast. There's a lot of stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll buzz it off. Okay. I was at my sister's party in Washington D.C. Night before her wedding, I was I was swiping on Tinder. It was right after I met him for the first time at Travis Pastrana's house. I was swiping on Tinder, swiping on Tinder. Met a girl on Tinder. Went out 2 a.m. Go meet her for drinks. After I got drinks with her, I didn't end up hooking up with her. I went to a gas station. I said, "This gas station seems like the right place to buy Cuban sandwich. Why the fuck would you buy a Cuban sandwich at a fucking gas station?" <laughs> Ate that thing. 
left in the Uber, went back to the hotel, woke up the next day. It wasn't a normal day because I had to give the best man's speech for my sister somehow because my older sister didn't want to do it. So I gave the, the speech okay. five minutes. Man, my nerves were acting up. I was drinking Red Bulls. I was trying no. to get hyped up for the speech, but that Cuban sandwich, man, it was not <laughs> treating me well. So I was wearing a rented tuxedo. No. <laughs> I gave the speech. I made it through the speech, but just afterwards, I felt a little bit of what some would call gurgling. Uh <laughs> Turtle heading or just gurgle? I made it to the toilet and I unleashed <laughs> shit. Just I, and, and so every half hour on the hour, I would on the half hour, I would shit in this bat downstairs toilet of the of the re- banquet center. Okay. Afterwards, she's like, "Big after party at the W." So I go. We all get shots at the bar. I get a beer. I got a Bud Light in my hand. I walk to the bathroom. I'm standing at the urinal in my tuxedo, feeling good. And I start to take a piss and I feel that fart when your pee in come out. And you tested it. It wasn't a fart. <laughs> no. The, That's the, the rented tuxedo, happens. dude. Damn. At the end of the day, my sister's finally coming in in her dress. She sees me beelining it out of the W in Washington, D.C. And she says, where are you going? And I go, congratulations. See ya. Back to the hotel, <laughs> took my pants off, showered, got in bed, cried myself to sleep. Oh, <laughs> did you have to like Uber or was it the hotel? <laughs> it that was close enough. No, I, uh, it was close enough to walk. Okay. And it was a, a squishy walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a walk of shame. It was a walk of shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> that's actually crazy. And that's the that's the only time it's happened to me. Okay. That's good. That's not I mean, true. that's how it is. It's the only time it's happened. It's so disgusting. Man, and my sister I, loves that story. I, I don't I do not understand the adults shitting their pa- their pants. <laughs> shitting their pants. Well, this one was more of an accident. Man, they're all accidents. Yeah. Think about oh. who's doing that purpose. <laughs> it'll it'll humble you. it'll humble you real quick. I mean, people wear like, diapers, right? They look around. They're like, <laughs> you know, this seems like, like a, a good time to shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's usually on accident. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That'll That's humble probably. you real quick in life. Ooh, if you think so you got great. it all figured out and then you shit your pants, <laughs> I feel like David Dobrik. Like, I love you, Dave. I feel like he's due for it. You need his pants. Go ahead and get ready for a poop. I feel like it's coming on. Again, David, I love you. Just, man, you seem right before. <laughs> you know who would never shit their pants? And we saw him last night at the fight. Hmm. Noah Centineo. That kid is shit proof. You can tell just by looking at him. He's, he's, he's the golden goose. <laughs> He ain't sh- he's shit and o- toilets only for that guy. Dude, my first time on Impulsive and I'm loving like this is like the best topic ever. Like, it's our best. It's topic. awesome. Yeah, we have dude, I love it. We're just rambling about it. We're things. still drunk, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that could be true. <laughs> I do you have a crazy story that you would feel comfortable telling on the set of Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world? The universe. I would have to probably think about it. All right, I'll enough. think about it. And then like, if I think of one, then I'll come back to it for sure. Yo, I wanted to ask you mm-hmm. regarding the boxing. Again, this the show is called Impulsive. So we're like all over the place. Okay, okay. But uh, pew, pew. would you box anyone? Would you ever consider getting in the ring for the next, for the rematch? Yeah. You would. I would, but like, this is something, uh, it was more of like, I don't have beef with anyone, but like, I would do it for fun. So and you want to fight w- Jake Paul? No, never. He would kick my ass. Just saying. <laughs> Listen, uh, th- this person that I want to fight has actually been on your podcast. Oh my god! Oh but like we're my. friends, Tanner Fox. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's Holy go, shit. dude. Honestly, I would do it for fun. Like I love the kid. Tanner is one of my best friends. Can you see that? Wow! But I would do it for, hey, for fun. Can I wow. tell you something? What real if quick? they boxed on the set? Yeah. He he. No, that's he, he said he was down to fight someone. He also said he was down to fight someone on the undercard. He, he wanted he rice said he, gum. Yeah, I know. He said he wanted rice gum, but I know that's not going to happen. You, you right. get access to picking the undercard, right? On this oh, fight? Yes, bro. Oh, Damn. really? You get to choose? Oh, his fight. It's his Whoa. fight. I could kick Jake off if I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Yo, that's, that has yeah. to happen. Him and Tanner Fox. Imagine, dude. That would be so fun. That would be great. Damn. It's all, it's just, it's a great thing, dude. I, we need to make this happen. It fans, is. Fans comment, like, subscribe, but make it happen. Let us know. That it is crazy. happening, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed. I've known for a while now. It's his fucking world, bro. We're all yeah. just living in it. Is this still happening in February? What? Is that? Oh, no. Okay. Nah, nah. That's when it was supposed to happen. Yeah, that's when it was supposed to happen. But your boy KSI refused. Weird. And then he's, now he's fucking just saying things left yeah. and right about when he thinks the month is going to be, the location, what city it can and can't be. And I'm like, yo. He's trying to say there's 32 days in January. I'm like, listen, guy. Like, no, there's not. It's not. Wait, one question. UK. How do you get 
to be like the like why I thought it would be like a 50 50 thing between where you guys choose the date and time what is it just all you so we traveled 50 people to London, True. his country, oh, okay, was yeah. a fucking mega hassle. Yeah, yeah, that was a, a disaster. Of a I didn't even like think he of that. he got his like venue date. You got all that. Yeah, it was a disaster. But I'm not gonna lie, as a filmmaker, that was that was beautiful for yeah, our it documentary. Was so it was sick. Great. That was great, just yeah. because of how much drama, how much crazy shit insane. went down that nobody's even seen. I know, like nobody even knows I like the behind wait. the scenes to what. That trip was. I can't wait to drop that. She was Whoa, insane. It's in the works. Rug. We shot a doc about the about the fight and dog. It's like, yeah. you know, you know, bro, you have a life outside of YouTube. Oh yeah. And uh Jake and I, in the middle of the most tumultuous year of our lives, had just crazy story. Like insane. We showed uh we showed this in my end of year video, but like I'm like crying in parts of it, like real crying, yeah. not acting crying. And I don't cry, man. I yeah. can't remember the last time I like sobbed and they got it on camera. I feel, yeah, we filmed, we filmed everything from like the training process all the way through, you know, everything that started to go down. Yeah. Like it, it's you, crazy. When dude. is this going to drop? Do you have an idea? I would assume before, um, <clears throat> before the next fight when it's more relevant again, but we should definitely <laughs> get you on that card, dude. Dude, I would be down. I would That'd hit up sick. Tanner. I'll hit up Tanner and see if he's that. down. Oh my God, that would be such a good fight. I feel like because like we're both like skinny, like kind of same height, it would be like so. And you're you're into cars too, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like into cars, but I don't like know like the details. You know what I mean? Ready, I like the exterior, for this? the interior. We're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Fight, fight with the cars on the line. Oh my God. Pink slip that God. shit. Yo, Pink if, you, shit. if he wins, he gets the udas. <laughs> <laughs> if he if you win, you get the I don't know what do you got a Porsche GTR Some Porsche, Porsche type shit. Nah, but do you have more? Look, did you know this, Mike? He has a fucking black Lamborghini. Is this yours? It's a Gucci Lambo. Yeah. You, wow, bro, you have two Lamborghinis. Yeah, but I'm in the middle right now of like deciding if I want to keep this or if I want to uh, sell it, sell it, or like trade it in for another. Like I was thinking of McLaren, but like, are what, you, what's are what's you? the reasoning behind that? About uh, the Lambo? Yeah, selling it. Selling it. Oh, um, only because like, I don't know if I need that. Like, I don't know if I need two cars. I mean, it's cool. I also have a Range Rover. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who's calling? I got to silence my phone probably at this point, huh? Uh, it's Mac. Maybe it's Mac. Mac and right? Tawi. Look, bring him on. Yeah. Come on. All right. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Hey, man. Middle of uh, shooting the number one podcast in the world right now with Phase Rock. I'm going to have to give you a call back. You're live, by the way. Oh, enjoy. I, I miss you. Enjoy. This is the greatest podcast in the entire world. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Big facts. Damn. We love you, Mac. If I see another video with 300k views, I'm going to be really pissed off. <laughs> 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 hey, same, bro. Same, same. <laughs> it got age gated. I think because that um don't pan up to it, but that uh the the dick no no we're gonna have to blur it. Yeah, uh. the dick that um Julius Dean put in my hand. What? Yeah, it got age gated. That's a furry furry wiener. Yeah. That was your last podcast, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. It was age restricted. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Anyways, yo, I'll talk to you later, bro. <laughs> I think that was age gated too, wasn't it? Uh, I love you, dude. Love you, dude. Bye. Speaking of dicks. Hold on. Wait a second. I don't want to talk about that for- <laughs> How much money are you getting right now? Oh, yeah. You yeah, you like must a, make money, huh? Yeah. Lots of it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't like getting into like- No, nah, don't get into it too much, but just give us the exact figure for the past two fiscal <laughs> the ex- periods. The exact figure? Yeah. Of what? Of uh, just your total revenue, <laughs> taxable, W two. Bring your know. fucking W. No, <laughs> I don't know. Just, just enough, just I guess, Tav. to to get that. Are we bullies? No, you don't think so. No, I just feel no. like I feel like sometimes the guests like we just put a lot of pressure on them. No, no, no. But that, you guys are asking about me. I chose yeah. to be on here. Like I'm, I'm ready for anything. You're we're getting ki- that tea. We're, I read somewhere kidding. you make one point three million dollars a year. That's. I could I could confirm that that's false, but like I think everyone like I've searched up net worths of people that I know and like they're completely false. True, those are often not correct. Yeah, some of them are spot just on them. yeah, some of them. It just depends if they update it. Maybe that was true like two years ago. I don't know. You look you you look up a lot of things. You use the internet often, like about myself or in general. Yeah, because I, um, I looked something up about you that I found. What? This is the urban diction. <laughs> urban diction. <laughs> def- <laughs> <laughs> Urban Dictionary there you definition go. Okay. of you. So buy, rug. buy mama rug. Wait, did your face mom- rug is what? a 19 year old Arabic man <laughs> who doesn't pray five times like he should and Allah is watching down on him. He has a Mercedes where he pulls all the bitches. He has Bosley, the cool ass pug, used in a sentence. 
Phase rug got a BJ from some random chick at the McDonald's parking lot. Buy, it was supposed to buy mom a rug, actually. I, I'm going to have to confirm if that was my mom who wrote that. Is your, but I don't think so. Your, your mom is tech, technologically savvy, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, my mom is, she's awesome. I love her. Shout how out, is that? Shout out mama rug. How is that? Having parents that are like Bro, my, tech savvy. So my mom and dad, like they love, like they have their own channel, YouTube channel, yeah. which is crazy. How many subs they have? Seven. Almost a million. They can upload YouTube videos, but can't tell the difference between salt and cocaine. I know that's, <laughs> no, hey, this, the cocaine prank was like 2015. My first ever prank on my mom. So like she had no idea. Like she literally did not expect that. But um, I like the Windex prank. Was she yeah, upset the when Windex she was found out like 19 million people watched her? No, she actually likes that. Like she. Hell yeah, it's clout, bro. She's getting the Mama Rug. Yeah, Mama Rug has the clout. clout. Is Mama Rug in the clout gang? No. Damn. I know. Does it, does it bother you that your parents are on YouTube? No, not at all. I actually like that. I Because like my dad is so funny because he actually edits his own videos too. Does he use iMovie? No, he uses um like... Filmora with uh, oh, it's like a random like editing program. What's their opening line when a video comes out? <laughs> you should film more of this. <laughs> Hold on, wait. What, oh wait, shit! What? I, what? He, he <clears throat> that was I'm definitely so drunk. Creative. Yeah, no, what, I, I think you meant for the for the editing more. program for when your parents like you know me is like hey yo what's popping low yeah game? yeah <laughs> my my intro? so yeah my dad usually starts it off with my mom next to him and he's like what's going on guys. Papa Rug, Mama Rug here, bringing you guys brand new video. And like, they're not like fluent <laughs> with English, but like, that's why it's the best to watch them. That's, awesome. that's amazing. It's you, so funny. Do you think, uh, I was going to ask you this too. Is there a, so you're of Iraqi descent, right? Yeah. Is there a, um, is there a large portion of your audience or your parents' audience that is Middle Iraqi Eastern? or Middle Eastern? Oh, yes. I like, so my dad, um, uh, went to Michigan recently and there's a lot of Chaldeans, which is what I am. Like I speak Chaldean and like my dad had a meet and greet in Michigan and like in hundreds. What and city? Like, um, Detroit. Okay. Yeah. I grew up near there and oh, Dearborn okay. is like, actually Andre. Yeah. He grew up near there. Oh yeah. It's Middle Eastern population. There. Yeah. My, my dad came back and he's like, oh, if you went to Michigan, like they're going to make it a national holiday. <gasps> that phase rug went to Michigan. Cause wow. like I have so many like Middle Eastern fans. That's so awesome. hey, shout out to you guys. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's funny. Um, before the podcast started, you were on the, on the, the beanbag. And you said, uh, you said, <laughs> you said, I'm Arabic. And then you said, I'm Arab. And where I grew up, there was a very, very large population of Middle Eastern. Some of my best friends to this day yeah. from Ohio are, are uh, Arabic. Uh -huh. And they would always say like, I'm Arab. And hearing you say that, it was a throwback no for me. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. I haven't heard that in LA. I'm just surrounded by white motherfuckers, bro. Uh -huh. Y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now you're all right. No, Spencer's oh, okay. awesome. Thank you, man. We do need some diversity, bro. And it's I true. need a fucking tan. It's true. <laughs> I mean, it's we true. have Andre, dude. He's, Jordan, oh, true. he's Jordanian. Yeah, we do oh, have nice. some. He's We're actually Michael Jordan's son. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. How is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, what language you said you speak? Chaldean. What is that? I wish I like had a good definition of it, but I really don't know. I just know that's the language that Can I speak. Can you say I'm excited to be here on Impulsive with you, Logan? Yeah. Um... Uh, <laughs> Remember when you said I, you spoke it? Yeah, yeah. No, I speak it. Yeah, but um, that's a pretty, pretty. That's niche. a pretty. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. A, okay, wait. What do you want me to say? I'm excited to. I'm be I'm excited here. to be here on the set of Impulsive okay. with you. Or Dude, like, sometimes some words like aren't like. How about you just say anything you want to say to him? Ha right? watun. That's hi. How are you guys? Um, I'll say. Uh, do you want to like here? Okay. Like that means you guys want to go somewhere. I have not heard of this language. It's, it's like, it's I feel like it's rare when I tell people I'm Chaldean. Um, like they're like, what is that? It's not common, I guess. But like, that's what, when I ask my mom, cause a lot of people ask me, oh, what are you? Like, what are you, where are you from and stuff? And she's like, oh, just say you're Chaldean. And when I tell people that they're like, what is that? And I'm like, wait, I don't know. Like it's from the Middle Eastern descent, I think. But. So you don't, is there a province in Iraq that it's prominent? <laughs> I told I you I wouldn't I, ask you these questions. No, no, I know. I wish yeah. I knew. Like, if my mom was sitting right here, she would answer all those questions. Question for you. Yeah. Have you ever dealt, have you or your parents ever dealt with any, uh, like, racism towards you or, like, anything in America because of your descent? Um, Probably not recent. But I'm sure like my dad works at a liquor store and um, he's he's told me like stories of people being completely racist to him all the time. But like the people that go to a store are like 
like drug addicts and like uh, people like that. So I guess, I mean, that's, there's no excuse for that, of course, right. but like, I feel like he, yeah, they've dealt with it for sure. I haven't personally. You, I mean, in, in high school, like there was just like a kid, like who called me a terrorist once and I'm just like, okay, fuck you. I don't care. Yeah. Like whatever. Did you, would you, do you ever drive by his house in your Lamborghini? I should. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I'm sure he, I'm sure he knows Dude, you guys. That would be awesome. No, it's so crazy. Cause I'll run into people that, I knew from high school that I never talked to. I had a very small circle in high school, like three or four friends. Like I wasn't like popular, yeah. but then like everyone that I saw that was like a part of the popular kids would like, they just know who I am because of YouTube. And they're like, hey, what's up, man? Let's hang yeah. out. I'm like, wait, what? Nah, like, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Trying to chase that clout. No, bro. for sure, dude. It's happened so often. It's, it's But you're still, I, I feel like you're still nice. You're oh just my like, God. I still yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. them. I'm like, hey, how's everything? Yeah. You know? But then after in my head, I'm like, wow, of course. You were, doing, you were doing YouTube in high school? <laughs> yeah, actually, but it was only gaming back okay, then. Okay, okay, okay. What games did you come up on? God, right? Just Call, Call, of, Duty, Call of Duty. Yeah. Strictly Call of Duty. I, no. I played Halo for fun, but I never like filmed. Are you playing Fortnite these days? Not as much as I used to. Damn. I used to play it like a lot more when season two came out, season three, but now like I literally just drifted away from that. What season are they on? Do you know? I think seven. Seven, right? Seven. Are, you, are you playing Black Ops 4? No. Dude, Call of Duty just like plummeted Fell after off. like I told you. I told you. Play you. Black Ops no, 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 no. So, so I, I did it. So I, I did agree. a partnership with the beanbag company. The beanbag. Love sack. Whatever, <laughs> dude. Okay. Like with them and, and, and Call of Duty <laughs> this year. I I am a massive Call of Duty fan. So Ooh. last year when we when we were thinking about what partners we wanted, I said, let's and I had a contact with Activision. I said, let's work Call of Duty. Uh they, they beat Black Ops 4 made a, a large jump back. I think Blackout I was did well play received. It, I did, yeah, I played yeah. Blackout. I just never played multiplayer. But What um, was your favorite COD? Oh, MW2. Modern Warfare did you, 2. Did you start oh, on uh, PC? No. no. Okay. I, I started on uh, PS, PS4. PS4. Wait, was there was there Call of Duty for PS3? Yes. I, wasn't Modern Warfare 2, 4? Only Xbox. No, Wait. Yeah. No, it was on both. Man, we're fucked the, up. The here. original Call of Duty, I actually was like one of only two kids in my school <gasps> to play it when it no way. first came out. It was only on PC. Same. Oh, wow. It was only on yeah, PC. World, Same. I, I played never played on PC. I was so frustrated with it. Oh. I said, this is the worst fucking game ever. <laughs> I didn't know how... And it was just, really? just Call of Duty 1. It sounded cool. Call of Duty. I don't know. Yeah. I thought I'd play it. Yeah. And now, obviously, <laughs> like it's that like, was it was insane. Like you, it started off with multiplayer where you there was no kill counting. There was no just, there like, was no dialogue. weapon upgrades. Yeah. It yeah. was World War One, World yeah. War Two, and you just picked your gun and you it was so cool. That's and they sick. had like map mods on uh some of the levels. So like people would design like houses and you were Whoa. all like mouse yeah. size. That's dope. It was crazy. It's Damn. almost like, remember, did you, did you play Grand Theft at all? No. Grand Theft Auto? GTA? I have, no, but like I know of it. But Everyone you, has played if it. If you go back to the original GTA and look at it, it's, it's hilarious. crazy. Wait, oh yeah. It's oh, just yeah. an overhead little car guy and you drive around the map and you oh, can get out that. and beat people with baseball That's bats. Insane. But like from a, you're a tiny little guy and you're like, huh, 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 <laughs> were, huh, were your parents huh. cool with you playing mature games? No. Uh, no, definitely not. Did you sneak it? Sneak? Yeah. Games yeah. In? For sure. For sure. What was the process? Um, I don't know if this is the best thing to, no, no, no. Um, like I would just do it when they would go to sleep and then it like I would their room was close to mine. So I would hear if like one of them gets like off their bed or like like walking out of their room and I just quickly turn off the TV and like hop in my bed. La last question for me. What was your kill streaks on MW2? <laughs> um, Predator missile, AC-130 and chopper gun. Oh, new no. See, that's it was either AC-130 or chopper gunner. Yeah. Or yeah, I, I, I was, used AC. I was, I was Predator uh, Harrier. Oh, Harrier. Yeah, was just because I'm not, you know I'm not on your... Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I know. I'm no, just, he's he's very well versed. Very what was your kill streak? Well, when I got the kills, they just added up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like your kill streaks. Like there's like UAV, counter UAV, predator missile, Harrier strike. Yeah, like anybody who plays stealth video games bomber. Know. Of course, you know this, right? Uh, Hein. Yeah. Hot, hot. What was the big chopper? Yeah, you couldn't knock down the Pavlo. The Pavlo. Yeah. That oh, is my boy. Pavlo. Wow, dude. I should have known that. Oh, the yeah. hind came out after. That was yeah. the that was the black ops uh, or uh, yeah, that was black ops. Did you guys got it from here? Did no. you get, did you see <laughs> that? They, did you see that they revamped the modern warfare's? Yeah, yeah. Did, did on, you go back to that? No, I didn't. I need to though. Like oh, I, they have dude, it on like Xbox amazing. One and stuff, right? When you go back, it's like. <laughs> 
the graphics are are like better than the newer games. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If they're which uh, is weird. Yeah, if it's called remastered. Revamped. Yeah, remastered. No, no, no. They're like better than the even newer Call of Duty. Oh, hey, Logan. Hey. <laughs> Who is Molly Escan? Oh, shit. I just spilled tea off my yeah. mic. Um, well, me and Molly used to date like uh, about a year ago for like two months. And uh, we just like decided that we, I mean, like she's a great person. Like she's awesome. I love her. But like um, we just didn't want to lose our friendship and we didn't see our relationship going anywhere. So uh uh, we just decided to stay friends and like we still like hang out to this day but I don't know if that that's if good. you guys think that's weird or not because a lot of people say like oh it's weird that you hang out with your ex but like I don't think I, that's I, weird I, at all no. yeah yeah I think like she's still like awesome and stuff like that and uh, we, we still like have a good bond of course dude yeah. I am still very close with all my exes oh, like okay I don't um I'm not the type of person like hold a grudge or like yeah 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 exactly hate someone oh, besides no. KSI okay but I never dated him <laughs> yeah so that's different yeah but yeah, no, uh, we're still cool. But uh, do you know why just, I ask? Why? Of course, you don't know why I ask. I'm gonna tell you why right now. Why uh, do you ask? Uh, thank you. Um, yesterday in the bathroom of the club, sitting there, and some dudes are like, "Yo, what's going? Like, can we take a picture?" By the way, club bathroom pictures are <laughs> super the, dark. The, the worst. <laughs> it is I'm one dead. of the worst why, experiences why? because of the darkness. Dog, or just because it's weird. I'm urinating. Uh, Yo, look, your hands your on your picture. Wing. I'm like, great dick. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's probably the And worst. they never say that. They never say they anything. They never comment on the Hey, man, that thing's a lot smaller than I thought <laughs> so it would be. So if, if they came in, they're like, hey, man, great dick, you'd be cool with it? Of course. It's a compliment. I, you have to. It's a compliment. Yeah. Hey, man, did you just shit your pants? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I'm there. And uh, these dudes are like, yo, you should do something with FaZe Rog. I'm like, what? It's no crazy way. you say this was last night. I was like, it's crazy you say that. He's coming on um, he's coming on my, my podcast tomorrow. He goes, yeah, yeah. And Molly asked him. And I'm like, who is that? Yeah. And uh, they're like, he's like, oh, uh, she, it's his ex, but they're still friends. But she, she talks about you and Jake a lot in uh, her videos. I was like, oh, shit. Wait, she talks about- I don't know. D- yo, I oh. don't know, bro. I don't know. Shit, I just, man. It's just what the guy said, bro. The drunk guy in the bathroom. <laughs> I see a vein popping out of Rug's face after you said that. Oh, no. no. That she talks about you and Jake on the- Dude, that would, I feel like he wants to fuck you up. Bro, right a lot now. of people talk about Jake and I. You know, it's like, hey, yeah. it's just because we're the fucking, we're just yeah. out here blondes. <laughs> What's it like yeah, having blonde. a girlfriend? I, 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 come oh, on, man. I'm, I'm come not. on. You said you're looking into the girlfriend scene, right? Is this true? When was your last girlfriend? Maybe. It was a long time ago. And it's very, it's a very special time in this house <sighs> because it is. tides may be turning for my friend Michael. <laughs> I got a, I got a prospect. <laughs> That I really fuck with right now, dude. Okay. This this girl is weird. Oh, and no. Mike is weird. It <laughs> so will, they're perfect. It will be That's no good. other way. That's good. Whoever ends up with Mike is going to be a fucking weirdo. <laughs> she is. She's strange, man. But she's so cool. Yeah. And oh, that's an, awesome. Yeah. Damn, he's smitten. I oh, just really fuck with her a lot, He's blushing. Dude. But she's got, some, she's got some things, and so we'll see. We'll see. Okay, but she's hey. close to my she's close to my grandfatherly age too. Like he's um, really fiddling with that pico de gallo right now. Did do you want to tell them why we <laughs> yeah, have wait, this? Why is that there? <laughs> I thought those are like little gummies. I didn't even like. I can't see from. So that we far. do have we do have pico de gallo here, <laughs> and the reason is we went to a fight last night as well. We okay. went to the Bellator fight. Shouts Bellator MMA for having Hell us. Hell yeah, thank you. It's great connected with a lot of fighters. Actually, we're gonna help me uh, train for the next fight. Um, and one of the fighters, uh, his name is Pico. <laughs> oh. Pico de Gallo, right? One of the fighters, this dude was like an Olympic contender. He's 22 years old. This happened. Wait, before you play, tell him, tell him what the guy said to us behind us. He was like, this Pico guy, man, he's a sure shot. He could fucking throw punches, Which bro. one's Pico? The one in the white shorts. Okay, okay. So we're watching this guy. You know, you, you, you're you focused on your dude. So yeah. we're watching the dude in the white shorts. And- Settle down, let me pick my spot, and then hit him again. Damn, they're going it's at it. Oh, oh. oh. That's it. it so Yo. Oh. Oh. So that's why you yeah. send Pico to go. Yo, watch this again. This dude. He, he gets rocked. Oh. Oh. No, Damn. honey, no. By the way, dude in the blue shorts got knocked down right before that. And we were like, oh, this, all right, so this Fight's is over. over. Fight's over. Yeah, got and up and cranked them back to you never Tuesday know, of last dude. year. <laughs> the, the worst knockouts, in my opinion, are the ones 
when they get knocked out and stay standing. That's insane. While they're knocked out, by the way. Like, he was, because he was hunched over, like, he's not conscious right here. Catches two, two more, more before oh. he goes to the ground. Then he's on the ground and gets a bob in the face. Damn. Mm, oh, you sure you want to fight, man? You sure you want to fight? What if Tanner Fox well, gets you with the big I one? I know, I know. I don't know. Tanner, Tanner's yeah, a threat. Not Have me. you seen him ride a scooter? Yeah, that's that's what I was worried about. <laughs> There's a Watch lot of out, correlation, dude. they say, between a, a fighter and their scoot ability. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I might have to call it off then. I don't Yo, know. but this was that was exciting. Being there, like, oh my God. man, is it's the art of the fight game because this dude was, like I said, an Olympic contender uh, wrestler, I believe. One of the best wrestlers in the nation, but anything can happen, oh, obviously. Yeah. And I'm sh I'm positive, like, he's going to come back and make a huge wave in the sport because of how good he is. But this shit is crazy. Like if you yeah. get knocked out like that, are you willing, are you willing to live your life on <laughs> social media with that? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, what was his record going into that? Do you know? No, I do not know. I, I would assume it's undefeated, bro. Cause yeah. damn. these dudes were hyping him up. Like, that's oh, Pico. Pico. So he's really man. good. Whoa, he's he knocked good. out guacamole Pico. last week. He's bro, just, like all crazy. He's throwing Pico to guy. What, what was his reaction after he got knocked out? He yeah. got knocked out. Stars. This is what the he guy behind you got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that dude. Yeah. Oh, the guy behind me. <laughs> so like, yes. Pico. It looks like he when got knocked Pico out. Pico got too. knocked out. Oh. That guy magically fell as well. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I, I thought you meant uh, Pico too. <laughs> yeah, you know, Pico, we almost didn't get into the fight. Pico. Pico did not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the only reason we got in because uh, we showed up and uh, they're like, <laughs> so wait, we tried to, in our infinite wisdom, we put the tickets in my name. So we roll up and, and we're like, <laughs> For VIP ringside, Mike Malak. Hard. And they're like, just quick question for you, man. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, are he you goes, serious? Goes, Yo, it's me. I'm Mike from Impulsive. Impulsive, bro. What, you don't watch? <laughs> you don't, you're not subscribed? <laughs> they're, like, get, they're like, get the fuck out of here, man, before we kick the shit out of here. <laughs> and so, so we waited there for a while. And the, the, one, the one lady that had the list, I'm like, hey, listen, it's Logan Bory. And she's like. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, so we're in trouble here, right? So we're waiting, waiting. I go up to the counter and, and it's me again talking. And they're like, dude, we literally don't know you. You're you're annoying us now. We're trying to take care of patrons here. You've become a, 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 a nuisance. A yeah. threat. <laughs> so finally I see this one guy with a clipboard and I go up to him and I go, do you understand that's my client over there? And it, and, and there was a girl, she was like, oh God, like right next to him. Oh, that it, helped. It was helped it was a, so much. It was a fan who was- uh, nice she girl. had she had Khabib wigs, you know those uh, Russian like fluffy wigs. Yeah, wow. And she's like, "Will you put this wig on and take a picture of me?" And I'm like, ah. <laughs> so, so I point over and I go, "Do you see my client being basically just overrun by fans?" There's one girl. <laughs> I go, I go. Do you want my? Do you know what this makes me look like right now? And I go, and furthermore, sir. My client has more followers than all of the fighters in this By the way, entire event combined. combined. I hate when and, this card and is I go, pulled. I, I, this is this is the last resort. I, and he, no, I didn't tell him to do it, bro. He just started. I had no other route. Damn. Okay, and it could either go one of two ways. He pulled either a he says, holographic card on him. He either says to me, "Here's the deal, dude. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't care." <laughs> or what happened? He said, "Oh." She's that many followers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Runs into the little shed and he's like, well, look what I just <laughs> pulled up here. I hope your client's not too mad. <laughs> Here's some bracelets. By the way, sits us inside ringside while Chuck Liddell is outside ringside. It works. So, it it works. Works. Dude, usually Damn. things like that never work because the people like- They don't give a fuck, Yeah, they usually bro. don't care. Don't so care I'm actually YouTubers. shocked that it worked. Yeah. yeah. Damn. And I, and I, and yo, by the way, I had to go into full fledged mode. Had my crush with me. <laughs> Like imagine, dude. Wow, you put on. Had to. That was great. Had to. Could you imagine if we? I, I drove her an hour down to downtown, and they're like, "Sorry, we can't." How go great in. did that feel when when he let you she guys? She looked in. at me like this. She was like this. <laughs> oh, she bit the lip. Yeah, Damn. she bit the lip. She was Damn. like, "Wow, assertion." That's Man, hot. but yeah, Damn. dude, I hate. I hate whenever anyone says. I hate that. Like <laughs> the word followers, bro. Dude, I can't. Uh, I want to be like. I literally want to be treated normal. I don't know why. Like, I love that. Like. When uh, when we're trying to get in somewhere, like you said, and like uh, like one of my friends, I'm like, dude, he has 10 million subscribers. I'm like, yo, shut I'm up. like, dude, why do you say that? Shut like, up. I don't care. Like, I, I don't want you to tell. That. I did not want to do that. No, I, know. I was. I was. It was last resort. It was last resort because we were about to get it was, the car. It was bad. It, I, I was an about, hour yeah. and a half drive home. It it was oh. just ugly, dude. Like, um, 
And and then he went and got somebody, by the way, and the guy came out. And he's like, holy shit, Logan, fucking what the? I saw that there was a video where you were like chewing a straw or something. Oh, no. Was oh, that a, no. I was I not supposed to see this video? I want to see. So <laughs> is, did, you get, did you get caught? Logan Paul. He goes, what's up, guys? Chewing a straw, dude. I'm sitting there and some dude comes up to me. And Why he's, does he's, Riley he's, read the last search on your... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that was a dope podcast. <laughs> we'll cut that. No, she's not. She's not. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you saw the one with Riley? <laughs> is Yo, fuck the, you, Brogan. I was going to think that. Is this the mic? It was really up there. Just yeah, that is the mic that Riley Reed deep throated. That is the mic. That's cool. the mic. That's awesome. Wait, it, does it smell any different? The mic? Oh. No, I think it's. I think we should be it's good. It's clean by now. Yeah, it's clean. It's, clean. it's definitely we, clean we, by now. We've had quite a few guests <laughs> since then. That have all deep throated the mic. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, man, they. I, I wonder if they even put the suite up. I hope they didn't. Oh, oh here. Oh, right there. Oh no, bro! So like he he does Damn. like he does like a nice a, pan. A pan, dude. Where's that was the a nice pan. A nice classic pan. He does a pan. pan. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, yo! What's good, Bellator? It's your boy LP. Let's get it. <laughs> hey, that was hey, yo, that was pretty smooth. No, bro. I mean, it wasn't watch bad. me sick this fucking. And then so he cute, drinks though, dude. Water. It was so cute. Then he drinks a water. Because like, I was look, still sober it. at this point. Good, Let's Bellator, get a replay. It's your boy LP. Let's get it. Pause it. The girl next to him is just like, who the f what is wrong with this guy? Can we get a freeze frame? Look at that. Fuck, I can't freeze it on it. It's My fingers aren't fast. Dude, I'm not a gamer. You have the same okay. watch as me? I don't know if I saw different. No, how much was that? 10K. Yeah, it's a little different. Yours is he's got the 10 times 10. Literally, literally 10 he's got times the, 10. He's literally got exactly inside. 10 times more. Oh, shit. No, that's it, nice. It, it, was, it was 60. Yeah, because you got a Damn. deal on it in Dubai. It's like a hundred thousand dollars. It's uh, hey, it stood out. It stood out. So it was worth it. <laughs> no man, who watch, man. Do not pay sixty thousand. Yeah, no, for a watch actually, ever. it wasn't worth it. It's the dumbest shit it's ever. It's not worth it. Put a down payment on a house. Yeah, Hell or yeah. or invest in property. But yeah, man, it was it was awkward. You ever get? You ever have some awkward ass fan encounters? I'm sure you do, dude. Uh, all the time, like the time. I just don't like this when like I meet fans and then they're like, say something to my Snapchat, and I'm like. What's up, Snapchat? Like, well, I don't know what to say. And it's so awkward. And like, my face turns red because I get embarrassed. Do you, do you know, it gets the most awkward after you've said the hello. And, and they, they keep, keep recording. recording. It's like, hey, what's up, Snapchat? <laughs> Shout out to you guys. <laughs> like, are you You're talking? Are, are they asking for you to talk to the Snapchat corporate Dude. team? <laughs> or like... What's, what's up, Snapchat headquarters? What's, you guys are doing great. <laughs> we have, no, like, we I guess to their followers or to their uh, friends. But also it's like uh, when they ask to like FaceTime, they're like cousins. And then after that, oh, let me FaceTime my brother. And then I'm like, oh, dude, like, you know what? Like, I got to go now. Like, we I'm had, sorry. We had so many awkward moments at this. Let thing me tell you about that. the worst one. <laughs> this one was bad. And by the way, I am never... Cease to be amazed by how many things can go wrong <laughs> when you are meeting fans. Yeah. So, yo, um, I've got a solution to all this. After I want to share it. Okay. okay. Sure. I would okay. love to hear okay. it. Okay. Yeah, Number one is the handshakes. Oh. Number one, right off the bat, immediately things go wrong, right? It's like, it's like, yo, nice to meet you. Uh, yup. How did you... What? <laughs> How so that's so that's number one. So I had obviously a lot of those, but yesterday there's one in particular. It was the dad of the... It was the manager of the main fighter who came out from the back, left this fighter there, brought his kids. Um, and, I, and so, you know, this dude's like important dude. Yeah. And uh, after I take a picture with his kids, two daughters, seven to 10 maybe, and a son. And after I take the picture, I go to shake his hand. Because oh. who knows? Who knows? I could be fighting in Bellator one day. Yeah. And uh, I go to shake his hand. <laughs> and the daughter like... Curves hard right in front of me, and I like reach through her hair, bro. No. So I got this girl's <laughs> hair clumped in my hand, and I lock, I lock uh, hands with the dad, and I'm shaking it. The dog is like, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, like, yo, I'm dead. No. Yo, uh, that's never and, happened to bro, me. Like, just, I, to say. just my fingers are interweaved in her hair. It's because we were sober, bro. Because I had, <laughs> yes, it is. Because I had oh, a really, because no. I had a really awkward moment too. I met you, you probably had never seen the show because you're like 12 and Spencer <laughs> Spencer might have seen it. But you remember the OC or, or the hill, the OC or the hills on MTV? Unfortunately, yeah. All right. So I met Spencer and Heidi Pratt last night. Heidi and Spencer, right? From That's the show. pretty awesome. It was awesome. And we, and, we cool. and you know, shit, what's up, man? And I suck with names. Obviously, I knew it was him, but he was like, uh, nice to meet you, Mike, whatever. And he's walking out after right after this handshake <laughs> and he's walking out and he goes, good to meet. And he grabbed my attention quickly and I turned up and he goes, hey, man, good to meet you. See you later, Mike. 
and in my haste, I said, all right, yeah, what's up? <laughs> Cause, it's like it's because you didn't expect him to say at that. all, and so, it was and it was him. So like I'm like a little kind of like I want to say something up. cool, and I was like, yeah, all right, man. Then what's up? The and worst he, he's is like this. He's like this. Yeah, Yo, the worst wrong, is when dude. like mush comes out your mouth. Like it's, you just don't even say anything. Yeah. You're like, what's that shit? <laughs> But it was kind of like that. What did I before. just say? But it was also like the situation where they're like, uh, where your waiter's like, enjoy your meal. And you're like, yeah, you too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, I'll bro. enjoy your meal. Yeah. You fucking idiot. Yeah, that's <laughs> mad funny. It's the worst. <laughs> Ready for the solution? Or do you yes. still have more? Do you have any stories that you remember off the bat? <laughs> I know this is hard. I have, a, I have like a scary experience that happened once. What at, happened? At my house. Slenderman? Close to it. No, side man? The side man. <laughs> <laughs> no, so like it was like midnight and like I'm just chilling in my room. I'm about to go to sleep and then I hear my front door knock. Oh. And keep in mind, I live in a gated community. So it like the door knocks. I look out my window from my room because I can see the front door and it's like some chick, like 19 year old, like oh, per perfect. Pretty. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's what I was saying. I'm like, okay, what the hell? Like, That's great. so random. And then like I'm like, hey, what's up from my window? I didn't go downstairs to open the door. And it wasn't Molly Eskum. It was not Molly Eskum. <laughs> But uh, I open or I open my balcony door and I'm like, hey, what's up? She's like, hey, uh, Brian. Like she called me by my first name and she's like, hey, can you come outside real quick? And I was like, what? Like that was the worst, like the the weirdest thing. Maybe just like a phase rug. Oh my god, I love you. Take can we take a picture? But she said, can you come outside? And I'm like, uh, no, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm sorry. Why? She's like, no, please, like just come outside. Like please, I just want to talk to you. I said, it's freaky. It's midnight. I'm scared shitless yeah. of the girl. That I wasn't really scared of the girl, but then I it could have been bait. Dude, yeah. exactly what happened. Could've I looked Nick across Bateman. the street. There's like a running car with like three guys in it, like chilling, waiting for this girl. Whoa. And Tanner Fox and his boys. Exactly. <laughs> Unfucking real. Bro, what if it was honestly just a prank? I don't know though. But then like she kept trying to lure me outside and I'm like, yo, can you please like get out of here? And like, Whoa. she's like, I really want to talk to you. And I'm like, no, I'm going to call the cops. And then like, she's like, okay, like I'm going to go. And like, she went in the car and they drove off. Whoa, dude. I just thought that was weird. I don't know if I was just super paranoid, nah. but I thought they were going to kidnap me just being Holy he bossed shit, up. Shit, dude. That was yeah, I didn't I didn't fall for the bait from the girl cuz I saw the cuz I saw the car. But like, yeah. Don't show oh. up at at YouTubers or celebrities please, houses. Please, please do not. Do not. we love you. We love you guys. We love meeting you in public, but the house thing just is not that's is a, not that's ideal. A you have the longest podcast in the history of Impulsive. You know that, right? Whoa, no way. No, no, hands down. How long have we been oh on? Oh my god, what? Three, we have three hours now. <laughs> three and a half. Hour eighteen. Okay. Hour Whoa. eighteen. Yeah, we're like two minutes. We're two minutes short oh, really? of the long. All right. The solution. I saw an hour one before. Yeah, the solution to all this is jetpacks. <laughs> Okay, so I, I'm gonna need you to elaborate. So anytime bad situation, gone, gone. Mm. That's, Dip. That's. Do you think good. that could be more awkward? Because you <laughs> took off on a jetpack. <laughs> like, does that add to the awkwardness of the situation? Depends how quick it is. Nah, you know I don't no. like this because I could like. <clears throat> I know the headline: Logan Paul uh, ignites fan on fire <laughs> via jetpack fuel. What if oh it was an aqua pack? Oh, water. Logan Paul Never thought about that. douses sandcastle sculpture in water, ruining <laughs> man's life, <laughs> turning him into that guy peak from the show. <laughs> What's his name? Rico. Paul, Rico. Pico. 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 Rico. <laughs> um, yeah, you, dude, it's a long podcast because I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, no, this yeah. is awesome. Our best life. Maybe we should get drunk before all our podcasts. <laughs> no, don't do that, kid. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I was okay, actually okay. like, I was actually extremely nervous before this. Um, Very. At what point when you walked in? When you walked on set? Before, no, no, no. Like when when you told me it's Sunday, like what? When you told me it was on Sunday, so four days, yeah. four days ago, I, I've been thinking about. It, I'm like, shit. Like, I hope I do good. I've never been on a podcast, so like, this. Bro, is like you're my, such a likable yeah. guy. I know that feeling, bro. Thank I'm, you, man. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Thank like you. you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. As long as you be yourself, exactly, and not a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he points at him. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I feel like you use your your platform to like give back to your fans yeah, a lot. Like a lot. What, what it, do you have a community of people? Like, do yeah. You value so, that? so first off, shout out to the Rugrats. I call my squad the oh, Rugrats. That's awesome. I love Dude, it. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, man, like uh, one of the main reasons I stay away from dramas because I don't like negative, like I don't like negativity. I don't like negative people. Like I stay away from that stuff. And like, it's, it's definitely succeeded. I don't want to have like, um, like my name big because of bad publicity, even though like there's that saying like, yeah, man, let me, nope, nope. It sucks. Okay. Yeah. I no, mean, I, sucks, bro, yeah. but like, what were you going to say? The saying, well, I know what are you going to say? Yeah. Like all, all publicity is good publicity. That's false. Right. So false. 
Okay, all right. I just want to make sure. Not true. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I just have like, I feel like when I'm recording, I have like a special bond with my fans. Cause like when I meet them in public too, like they always talk about like my videos and I feel like we just connect. And I think that's like, I know you've had that feeling too a lot. It's awesome, huh? It's the great. It's so cool. When you're talking to the camera and you know know. it's going to be received by people. I love that. We're going to love it, bro. And like, I don't know about you. You sound like you do this too. Like, Depending on the how well versed the fan is in the world of Logan Paul, uh-huh. like I will sit there and talk to them oh about things. I'll ask their opinions. I want because yeah. they're the audience, bro. Exactly. They're the ones that matter most. Yeah, and uh, I've had like thirty minute long conversations with fans before. Yeah, like, for sure. Like it's awesome. Like you just they think like they they uh, feel like you're their friend, and that's how you want to make them feel. Like yeah. they're not just talking to some celebrity. You know, like it's it's cool to make them seem like. Uh, they're talking to just like a yeah. friend or a brother, yeah. like something like that. Where um, where where do you get recognized the most? Is there is there a spot? Do you have a demo <laughs> per se? Um, like, as in like a uh, city. Like you go to the mall. The mall. The <laughs> mall is number one. Why is that? Basketball games or like baseball games. Oh yeah. Um, where's like. <sighs> there's like one spot that I always get recognized. I think just like the mall for sure is number one. You you lived and grew up in San Diego your yeah, whole life? Yeah, my whole life. And I come out to LA to yeah. like go to the clout house, you know, hang hang out do with people. Podcast. Do a podcast. Do a podcast. Hey. Yeah, there we go. I just got real tired. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> your, your hangover is probably finally setting in. No, it's been here. Oh, wait, I was going to ask. So after the shot, like, did you continue drinking throughout the night? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah, I thought like it was just the one shot. No, like, no. It wouldn't be worth it if it was just we the one came, shot. We came home. We woke up everyone disrespectfully. But we didn't, we didn't, we didn't half-ass I'm it. I'm so sorry about we this. We played guys. Sonos Yo, rap music. Yo, shoot me music. a text next time. I didn't even know you went out. He thought it was just was, me, I, which was all I could hear was Mike. Of course. And then all I could hear was Mike. And then suddenly a, like a voice like, <laughs> Mike, Mike. Ah. Had fun last night. Babe. Dude, I have to say something though. <laughs> Mike, like I see a lot of comments saying Mike is annoying. Mike cuts people off. Yeah. I disagree with that. What do you think of Mike? <laughs> I think he's awesome. I think he's funny. It's been swapping. So the check, comments so are, they're all over the place, but they're like, yo, he, it, we have a very balanced situation here and I'm working on the cutoffs, by the way. <laughs> I am. That That's completely true. I shouldn't be cutting anyone off. But, but then like a couple episodes, I got kind of shelled up. Yeah. And that's not good either. Yeah. Like, I people to, miss the old Mike, you know? Yeah, you know when you hold a fart in? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. And you no. shit your pants. <laughs> You just can't hold a fart. You got to manage the fart. The topics were interesting, dude. The last podcast should address this. um, Was Julius? Do you know? No, it was the one before that, right? The Nelk Boys. When we had the Nelk Boys on, um, shout out Nelk Boys. I was being a dick to Mike because I just wasn't into him that episode. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I was having a bad day, bro. I yeah. think me being vegan, it, it was really <laughs> pissing me off. Like, it was just a bad day. And so I, like, called him out on the show. And, like, no. the fans, like, whoop my ass in the comments. Damn, they were dude. like, like yeah, they got you. Logan, shut the fuck up. Get off your podcast. Like, we love Mike. <laughs> no. but, but some of them, some of them sure. were like, we agree with Logan. And then so th- it was a note to, for me. Yeah. I was like. I'm gonna be easy on Mike. We got we yeah. got to meet in the middle somewhere. That's right? what we it's all about that teamwork, man. Yeah. Today teamwork. was good. I felt that too. Today was incredible. I felt yes. like you're 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 doing great today. It's all everything was good. This yeah. is just a great podcast. I think podcast. this was awesome. This was really Should smooth. we just stay on like all day? <laughs> <laughs> we, I, no, Crazy what a little tequila duty. You know? <laughs> I'm back in the game, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's Phase Rug on this episode of Impulsive. Hey, thank we are you gonna for do, of me, course, man. bro. Of thank course, we're gonna. I want to do a extended audio only question and answer with you right now for. The audio only platform, Spotify, iTunes, um, et cetera. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that motherfucking subscribe button before I give you this smoke. He'll do um, it. Phase Rug. You can you can find this guy on Instagram at Phase, Phase Rug. Rug. Makes and sense. YouTube Phase Rug. There we go. There we go. Give this video a big thumbs up. We love you guys. We will see you next time. Take it easy. Peace.